Today on Garden Fork, yes. Honey extraction. Pretty cool, huh? Is that filled with honey? This uh, I just pulled out of one of our hives this afternoon, and I want to put the empty comb back in that hive, so we're going to extract all the honey out of it using a new method I want to show you here. Okay? Now, normally, you would take with a heated knife and cut the wax off the top of these cells. This is honey that is in a beeswax cell and it's capped with beeswax. And you take a knife and lop this off to get the honey out. Like you skim the surface? Right, but it does quite, it can really kind of damage the um, comb. And the idea is that you want to put this back in the hive and then the, the less work the bees have to do to rebuild that comb, the better. So my friend Rick Kennerly told me about this new device here that basically pokes a hole in the top of each cell so you can extract the honey without having to run the hot heated knife over this. It's all about the bees. So we're going to put this on the here, press it in, and poke holes. Now it's done. If this works, it's much easier than the knife method. And look here, we've poked holes in almost all of it and we haven't really damaged the cone as much as a knife will. Infrastructure intact. How hard are you pressing? Not very hard. I don't want to I don't want to crush the honey cone. Nice, huh? Looks like you're done. So we have another how to harvest honey video where we talk about our extractor. This is a four frame extractor. Nice. Now this frame has a little bit of uncapped honey, it's uncured honey, and that's okay to have a little bit. You know, if there's a large amount of this that isn't capped, it's not ready to be harvested, all right? That honey will crystallize if it isn't capped. It hasn't had enough moisture removed from it. That's pretty cool. Two down, two to go. Has this been a good honey year for you? Uh, this is our first honey of the year. So late June, that's pretty good for honey um, in Connecticut, where we are up in the icebox here. Where it was snowing in May. Yeah. All right, our frames are in. It's sort of like making homemade ice cream. Yeah, have your kids do this. <laughs> now this is, um, you just keep in mind that the honey will get everywhere. So we cover the furniture, we cover the floor. We use uh, actually shower curtain liners are kind of heavy duty and you can rewash them. You can buy them cheap at the store. They work great for covering everything when you work. A couple of things we've learned. If it's a little cool, and it's a little cool today, we point a blow dryer into the extractor while we're spinning. It just kind of helps heat the honey up. And I warm up the frames with a little space heater. Um, I blow air into the frames. Be careful though, because if you overheat the frames, you'll melt the honeycomb. Oops. Pretty good. So you want to have kind of a soft touch with the roller. If it doesn't work the first time, take the frames out of your extractor and roll them again. But don't ring into it because um, you could crush the comb and that's kind of a waste. Kind of productive. Yeah. Let's see how this stuff looks coming out the tap. Yeah. Nice. What's really cool here is there isn't a lot of honeycomb in the honey because when you use the hot wax knife, you're, you're cutting a lot of comb and it gets in the honey when it's extracted. This is extremely clear and this is a like a early summer honey, so it's really kind of yellowy, light colored. Do you know what kind of uh, honey that would be? No, I don't. I don't. I don't really know what flowers they're pulling from, but I have to research that. But this looks great. This works really well. Um, I really like this as opposed to the hot wax knife. Oh, oh. Cleaner too. Who's that for? It's for me. It's really light. Usually our honey has kind of a caramelly flavor. 
It's just much more floral. Very cool. More beekeeping. There's a link right below here, and if the buttons are working here, there's a, a button to watch our other beekeeping shows. And Garden Fork is eclectic DIY, uh, kind of urban homesteading mixed up with home improvement and cool stuff like this. So subscribe. We put out shows every week. You could also get our email newsletter. There's a link in the show notes for our email newsletter. Cheers. <laughs> Good job, bees. Good job. <laughs>